If you've ever had any questions on when you should be using a belly weighted rigging hook like this one or a weight forward jig head like this one, we're going to talk about that in this video. And what we're going to do is talk about the deciding factors so you can make the best decision for your situation. Now let's get right into it. So here's the two style of rigging hooks right here. This one here is the belly weighted rigging hook and this one is the weight forward. Now we're just using this one as an example, uh, but it could be any one of these. It could be an open football jig head. It could be the round eye jig head. But what's important in this is that the weight is in front of the lure. And that's going to be the deciding factor on uh, which you're going to use one. All these jig heads are really going to work the same way. It just really depends on the type of structure you're around. Now let's talk about the differences between the two. Now the belly weighted hook, this one over here, the reason why this one is going to work better in certain situations is the way that it falls. Because the weight is moved backwards and below the body of the lure, it actually falls more like this. It's almost a horizontal falling rate. It'll actually glide down. Now, whenever you have a weight forward, you know, the, the weight is in front of the lure, what it's going to do is it's going to cause the lure to fall almost vertically straight down like that. Now, another thing that's going to be a deciding factor is the weights that these are available in. Now, with the rigging hooks, the Haas Helix rigging hooks, these are available in 16th ounce, 8th ounce, and 3 16th, so they're relatively light. And with your weight forward jig heads, this one, the Haas football, the weedless football jig head, this one is available in 3 16th all the way up to 2 ounces, so really it doesn't matter what depth water you're fishing in, they've got you covered with that one. So it has a lot to to do with the depth. Another thing has to do with the current. The stronger the current that you're going to be in, the heavier that weight needs to be to get the lure down in the strikes on where the fish are. So it's not just about depth, it's also about current. And then the third deciding factor is going to be the type of structure that you're going to be fishing. Whether that be uh, an open flat, whether that be an oyster bed, whether that be docks, this all comes into play in deciding which jig head to use. So really it comes down to those three things. It comes down to the type of structure you're working, the depth of the water and also the current. So for instance, if you are fishing an open grass flat that doesn't have much current, and we're talking about current that you can easily swim against, and it's not very deep, say it's only two or three feet deep, then a rigging hook like this is often your better choice. One, because it's lighter, it's going to make less of a splash whenever it hits the water. And also, if you're doing like a twitch, twitch, pause type of retrieve, whenever you do that twitch up, when it comes down, it's actually going to come down in a horizontal fashion, and it's going to cover more ground even though you might be working a little bit slower it's going to be covering more ground that way and you're always going to be moving forward now let's say you're fishing a dock or a seawall or even an oyster bed something that's more vertical structure then that's when you want to use something like your jig head now remember that that weight forward jig head is going to fall more vertically just like this one. So when you cast this lure right up against that dock piling, it's not gonna drift away from it. It's gonna fall like this, and then it's gonna stay in contact or stay at least close enough to that dock piling where it's gonna stay in that strike zone longer. So fishing hard structure and vertical structure, oftentimes the weight forward jig head is the way to go. Now these are just guidelines. They're not set rules that you have to do. There are gonna be some caveats. Say for instance, you're fishing shallow water and one to two feet even on open flats and you want to fish more aggressively and you want to fish faster then you want to use something like a weight for jig head instead of this one because what's going to happen is if you start working the lure aggressively with one of these Oftentimes your lure is going to be at the surface or even pop out of the water, whereas a weight forward jig head allows that lure to get down and stay down so you can work that lure aggressively and still stay in that, that strike zone in where the fish are going to be at. And a rigging hook, you know, sometimes what happens is say you want to drift your lure into some swift current and a heavier jig head is going to fall too fast. So you can use a lighter presentation with a belly weighted rigging hook and drift that lure in the current if the fish are feeding higher up in the strike zone. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can fish these, but for the most part, it is about the type of structure, about the depth and the current that you're fishing. And most of the time in shallow water, you're going to be wanting to use the rigging hook and in deeper, faster current and vertical structure, you're going to be wanting to use that forward weighted jig head. Now, speaking of the different jig heads, if you're looking for a video that shows you when the best time to use the different styles of jig heads, I've got a video that explains that from start to finish. So make sure and check that out. I'll put the link down below. And if you want to try any of these hooks, whether that be the Haas Helix rigging hook or the football jig heads, the weedless football jig head, or the round eye, we have those available at fishstrong.com. And remember, our members get huge discounts off a of tackle at fishstrong.com. 
So if you pay attention to the depth, the current, and the structure that you're working with, you should be able to decide which one's going to be the best one for you. And if you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I would love to hear from you. If there's a way that you use each one of these rigging hooks that's different than what I've said or something that I didn't mention, I'd love to hear from you. As always, really do appreciate you watching. Have a great one. Go get them. Bye.